In this video I'm going to show you how to add new pages in WordPress specifically using Divi and how to add them to your website menu. So once you've logged in head to pages and you can click add new straight away or just go and look at the existing pages. So here's our existing pages we can quickly trash pages we don't want here or click to edit and begin to work on the pages. Let's click add new to create a new page. It's then going to ask us to put in a title, so I'll call it test. Uh, and uh, we can then begin to build the layout using Divi. So I click use Divi Builder. It gives me the option of choosing a ready-made layout from Divi's many templates, cloning an existing page from the website which could be a good tool. You could say I want to clone the layout from another page and just update it for this page or you can build from scratch. Let's do build from scratch. I can choose how many columns that row is going to have. I might choose two in this case. Then I can add content, for example a blurb, a call to action, a button or even a video down here. I'll explain more in another video how to use this section, how to add content. Then when you're happy with the content on the page, click down the bottom here. Uh, you can double check its settings in this area. So the page title, perhaps you want to make it a bit longer for Google purposes. You can choose an image that is to be at the top of the page. And uh, when you're done, click publish. Now the page is published but it does not exist on the menu of the website. So that's our next step. We will exit the Visual Builder. We will go to the, we can go to the dashboard or straight to the menus but I'll do it this way. Appearance, menus and now we're going to add a new page which is listed here as test. If you can't find it here, go to view all and find it in that area. So here's our test page, I'll add it to the menu. Now scroll down, here it is, and I can then move it around where I want it on the menu. I can have it as a sub-menu item or a main menu item. And when I'm happy with it, I simply save the menu and I go back to the website and I can see it live on the website for everyone to see.